Good morning, it's Danny here from Jack Rabbits in Southampton. Um, I've got my client Craig here with me today and he's in for a hair and beard trim. Craig, can you explain what it is you'd like me to do for you today? Yeah, so if you can just tidy up the top, take the backs and sides down to about a one, and then the beard, just a little bit of the weight off it, give a bit more shape to my sort of jawline, yeah. and just tidy everything up really, make it look a bit sharp, professional. Yes, and you're liking the part in here still on this yeah, side? So same side. style, but just reduced down. Yeah, maybe cut the parting in if you can a little bit. Cut the parting in just up the top here. Yeah. Do you like the weight and the heaviness that you've got here? Um, it's sometimes... Sometimes yes, sometimes it tends to just flick up a little bit, so I don't always like it, but I'm happy to go with uh, your advice on that and really whatever you want to do. I like I like the style. I think yeah. uh, you've got fine, super fine hair, so yeah. taking a little bit of the weight out of here might not be a bad thing, just so that it sits a little bit, I mean, it's, it's quite heavy, so it sits less heavy on there, but mm -hmm. we still like that heaviness because that's what gives it the structure of the haircut and gives it the shape and style of this, this particular cut. Just a nice big quiff at the top here with the etched in part of line, taper down to a bit of a one on the sides, blend that into the beard line here as well, um, to make this a lot sharper, a lot more defined. Yeah. Do you want a lot of the length off it, or to keep the length to it? Um, a little bit off around the chin and what yeah. have you, just just take it down a little bit, just because it grows so fast. So heavy here, uh, that, that yeah, needs exactly. to be taken in a little yeah. bit more and evened up, so that's cool, let's get cracking. Nice, so I'm just going to go in with my grade one, get all the bulk off the bottom as per. This is where I start most of my hair cuts, especially clipper cuts. But as you can see, he's got quite a bit of grease in his hair, which means he probably has you know, styled it this morning with a greasy product or slept on it and not washed it for a couple of days. Either way, we're going to give him a nice shampoo before we start blending, doing any hand cut on the top. So this is just a bulk removal process. He wants it down to a grade one. So let's cut it down to grade one, at least on the bottom. So this bit around here, just cleaning up a little bit around the neck, just to get that off. Putting in my... What I did before doing this was just going with a little 0.5 on the very bottom, just to flick it out, because grade one, although it's a nice length, really nice length actually to work with. Probably grade one and two are my favorite lengths to work with on clipper cuts. I just think they look nice, not too short, but not too long. Um, I always still like to go in with a little bit of a shorter clipper guard. So I did a 0.5 on the very bottom. Um, this makes it less heavy and grows out nicer. So the aftercare is better. This is just putting in my lines around borders. However you want to call it. So first here, I'm going to just do a little bit of hand cutting on the sides before blending in with a bit more clipper work, just to take off a bit of the weight that I'm not haven't been liking here. picking up my sections and going through it. The bits before, the, if we cut the head in a little uh, cut section here, these bits here can all come out at a nice 90 degrees angle. I can cut straight to that. As I get past the ear on this back side of the head, I like to just sort of overdo it just a slightly bit more than 90 degrees because then it's got a bit more room for it to travel down. Um, as we get around to the side of the head, it's not no long, it's no longer flat, so it's if we cut that too short, that's going to just stick out and spray out, so that's why we want to just go a little bit over 90 degrees. Some people like to use clipper over comb for this bit. I like to use scissors and a comb. But I'm just coming out a bit more than 90 degrees. Um, paying attention to the head shape and figuring out how much extra hair I need on this area. So on the flat areas at the front here, 90 degrees, and then I come out a little bit longer towards here. We want to keep the crown in there as well, we don't want to take too much of that out. So I'm putting in my guide here through the middle section of his head. I'm going to go a little bit shorter at the crown area here so that it comes up and it's a little bit longer here. So that bit's shorter, that bit's longer and that's what gives it its nice quick there. And I'm sectioning the head into the sections again so I'm doing anything from behind here a little bit shorter. Taking my top section just above, or just behind the ear, sorry. I'm going to cut to my guide there. I'm going to cut to my guide this side, but knowing this side, if I want the extra length kept there, I'm going to go straight up and cut to my guide up here. Um, 
So if I want this section to be longer and to overlap this side, I will cut straight up. But if I want it to be more blended, I will take the corners off. So I'm probably just going to nibble the slight corners off them here. Just so that it's not too much overlap and it blends in just a little nicer to the sides. Another little uh, top tip that I learnt from uh, my master is uh, rounding on the side of the head here. Great little technique to get those corners and keep it nice and rounded and blended. So if you just pick up your section and then literally bend your fingers round, you can cut round your fingers, if that makes any sense. So I've picked up my strong section. I'm going to just curl my fingers round and create that round shape of my fingers and just cut to that. So it gives it a nice bit of blending and rounded edge there. So my fingers aren't completely straight, I'm rounding them off slightly. Maybe it doesn't work for you, maybe you don't like it. I quite like it, it speeds up the process of blending it for me. That's same that front. I'm actually going to keep that front section longer for now. I'm not going to round or blend that in. It's the back area that I want to blend in. This front area, kind of want it to overlap because that's going to come up and be my focus at the front there and be my um, main area that I want a bit of disconnection on. This next thing I'm going to do is put the parting line in here. Uh, I tend to just do it whilst it's wet because I don't want to blow dry his hair. It's, a lot of people like it, and it's only very subtle, this one that we do in on Craig. Yeah. It's not anything major. We're not trying to reshape or restyle anything completely. It's just about having a little bit of just extra definition, like I said, so he can actually just style it easier for his work. It's typical, I told the bar and all your workout, I'm not doing this New Year's, and they're like, yeah, okay, no worries. All I'm doing is getting my styling brush and using the medium speed, the medium heat to roll that up to give it a nice bit of quiff. Same on the back here as well. A bit less in the back really because this crown likes to jump anyway. Have you, um, have you seen my new blog I'm doing as well? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah. So I'm going to get that off the floor. Is that you personally? That yeah. is, uh, like, is it someone in your family that's been... Nope, it's just, it's just me, so... It's one of those things, mental health is just, it's oh, not, it it's so prominent nowadays and yeah. I've gone through it for years and only recently, over the last year or so, did I ever do anything about it and yeah. actually by reaching out and putting that video up sort of saying this is my story, I had in the space of a week, that video was viewed 3,000 times just on Facebook, yeah. I had over 100 direct messages tell it, asking me about what was going on, saying well done, Seven people confided in me. Three of them have already gone to their doctors and spoken to it, and one of them's already gone to a counselling, uh, and one of them I'm taking to uh, a group that I used for mental health. So I've got my blog, which I started a year ago, which I've now published, which is very, very intimate and says a lot about what's going on with me. I started an Instagram page and a Facebook page. I don't know if it'll take off, but if it only reaches one person, then that's my time well used. But yeah, I mean, the, the blogs, I mean, as I said at the, at the start, like my name's Craig, and I've called the blog Still Just Craig, which is not difficult. It's stilljustcraig.co.uk or at stilljustcraig on um, Instagram, um, and that's the name of the Facebook page as well. And that's just because I don't want people to view me differently now, just because I've spoken up and said I struggle and I've got these issues. I'm still person. just Craig. I'm still just yeah. the same person you've always known. Yeah. I've nothing's different. See, this is the job of the barber. They need to sit there and listen to people. <laughs> hey, I love it. I love listening <laughs> to people. Definitely love to listen to people. Well, that's why I've always come in here. It's not just getting. I mean, I always get a great haircut and stuff, but it's the service and the actual intimate. So the relationship that you get with the with the with the shop, but also with you. Like you know that I'll always come to you if I have the opportunity. Yeah. So it's nice having the longer appointment times as well sometimes. If you're in and out of the barbershop too quickly, you don't feel you're able to get to know that person. Whereas well, it's not just a haircut, it's a full service, isn't it? Got to know a lot of people through just having a slightly longer appointment time. Where do we start with Craig's beard? What I want to do first is brush it all out with my comb. Just want to see how it's sitting, how it's laying. If we need to stretch his neck up a little bit, we can move the chair. 
Are you comfortable here for? Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, foreseeable future. Going that right. So it's all in all, it's not too bad. No. I did tidy my neck up a little bit the other yeah. day with clippers just because it was very long. Big areas of these bits around here, I'm going to sharpen them straight up. Come in my comb and then blend it into the hair. So what I'm doing at the minute is just lining up where I'm thinking the beard should be or needs to be to make it a bit neater. I'm blending out all the lines with the side or the bottom edge of my comb. So I'm kind of keeping it in longer there. I just want to soften it all up, soften every all the edges up. We like some of the nice harder edges, but softening it up so it's not too chunky is a nice, nice thing to do on the beards. Otherwise it'll grow out too quick, too, too bulky. We want to make this beard last as long as possible, knowing that, well, we all, as guys know, that after about a week it starts looking scraggly again. So it's by softening it out and tapering it out, it means it might last an extra weekend or so. So again, the same this side. I mean, it's no definition, no shape. It's going to go first in here. Get all that clean. And come down here. What I'm doing here is actually I'm looking up at its face, I'm looking at where the strong points are, so I'm drawing imaginary lines down here, seeing where his cheek fills in or where it doesn't fill in. We want to make that nice and strong, but we also want to create that same angle here, down to here. Otherwise, if I don't do it to this angle, it's just going to throw it all out. So all I'm looking at is this line around here, where it's strong and going in to mimic that down here, to keep that nice and strong. And then come in my comb and just soften that all out and see all that hair there gathering. I'll just go straight up the comb of that. Face three. Yeah. Cut the man face. All kind of stereotypical, huh? Italian barber. Portuguese pescatarian. Yeah, man. I'm vegetarian. I've been all my life. Yeah. All your yeah. life. Never had meat. I got raised vegetarian, carried on. Never had fish either? Don't eat fish, no. No. Being brought up in the 80s and 90s as a vegetarian was quite difficult, but yeah, nowadays yeah. it's quite easy. Oh, well, yeah, it's so easy. thing now, isn't it?
Thanks for watching this video. Beardbrand has launched a private community called The Alliance. It's for men who are looking to invest in themselves and who are looking to keep on growing. Click the link over there and come join us or stick around and watch some more awesome videos.